What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we have this force under Timothy Sutton is driving north in towards the Kashmir Valley to take the city of Srinagar, but we, we can't actually reach the city at the moment, so what we can do um, is attack the army that's currently deployed outside and draw in the garrison of the city. So let's begin. So doing it this way means that we can, well when we finally attack the city, uh, next turn, the garrison itself will be badly mauled and the initial wave that we have to fight is actually probably just going to be a mortar, maybe a valley musketeer unit with a couple of armed peasants. That's the, that's the, the level of um, force we're likely to face. It does mean it's fighting two battles rather than one, but kind of depends, I think. So sometimes it... Fighting one massive battle for the city is naturally more um, decisive, but at the same time, what you end up seeing is that if you have an army coming in to reinforce the city battle, that army can still exist and run off into the distance, which can be a bit frustrating. But what you can do, if you, if you do it this way, the army that's going to reinforce the city battle might actually be destroyed off the bat in the engagement so that's a bit of a theory but we'll have an experiment we'll have a bit of experimentation around it um so i've divided my infantry into two lines one to push around the right flank one to push around the left my pike are going to go up the middle my field of foot artillery is sat at the back here on the high ground just a second pardon me um so the field artillery have a good field of view <clears throat> of the uh, of the battlefield. And the howitzers can obviously lob shells. Uh, the right flank is the weaker, is the is the more is the more powerful flank. So they're gonna have to push a bit more uh, because this flank is the weaker one. It's got the bulk of the cavalry. But beyond that, I don't think we're gonna run into too many problems. So my My right flank force I want to run up, my pikemen just walk. Infantry advance to threaten that infantryman. Should really be picking more uh, better artillery targets, so they do have Gurkhas. So you probably want to drop a few rounds of artillery onto them. There we go, so this musketeer unit, yeah, they're falling back, uh, but my pikemen are going to be more than enough to cause them significant upset. My battle line isn't drawn out to its maximum size, but that's chiefly because we don't really need it to. We only need to have musket effects, you know, from here to here. Extend it out a bit, maybe, to the general's bodyguard. Let's run my... Pikemen in. Which I might want to get my grenadiers over towards the middle as well. Push my line up aggressively. The artillery have been chased away. Charge up my cuirassier because I want to knock out the. Oh, the reinforcements coming in from back here. Some more Gurkhas. Let's get my artillery, if they've got the range, they do not. They are 12 pounders. Oh, they've garrisoned the town hall. My gunners knock it down. Because my pikemen can't go in there. Maintain the advance. You don't normally see the AI actually go into buildings like that. I could send in my grenadiers, but I want to use my artillery to pound the building into dust. Especially we've got things like Gurkhas on the field.
Send my cavalry just to knock out that gunner because it is it's a limbered team. Get all my artillery on it. Because we're going to position our infantry in a good position to deal with the Gurkhas. Obviously, this is the side that won't be damaged. So I could use my I could use a colonial line infantry to attack the far side. Unit of that unit of is that cavalry? No, it's Kizobashi. Pull my cavalry back. I want to see this building collapse. There it goes. Actually, no, don't worry about it. We can. Looks like we're still we're working our way through. Volley fire coming in against the musketeers. The Gurkhas are advancing on the right flank. So, fall my line infantry back just to make sure they reload before the Gurkhas get there. I mean, I'm surprised that they can... Well, I'm surprised and I'm not in a way. My howitzers obviously doesn't matter quite so much. So my guys are just going to sit there volleying into the... Volleying into the void. Okay, you can get my cop pikemen back because they're going to get cleared out by that musketeer unit. Push up my cuirassier to threaten that unit of musketeers there. The Gurkhas are going down to musket fire. Yeah, there they go. Charge my cuirassier in, then my pikemen can run around. That section of the town hall has been d damaged. The hillmen have abandoned their fighting position. Provide new gunnery targets, charge my pikemen around the corner. Cuirassier charge into the. Oh no! No, don't fight the mercenaries. I thought they, those looked more like. Hillman or something like that. So you guys might have to charge into the this unit of musketeers. Get my infantry to push up to form a new flank. Ooh, how it's a fire. You can limber up. So they're going the musketeers, they're going my pikes. Get my regiment of horse to charge into the musketeers, try and break them. Understandably par, that's gonna be my artillery. Bring up my infantry to fill in this gap, pull my cavalry back. What do they charge into the Gurkhas? Just try and buy us some time, try and relocate my howitzers over to the right flank. So these three units can advance. My Curiosier smash into the Indian mercenaries. Field artillery begin engaging these infantry units here. Let's bring you up as well. You men might have to charge the mercenaries as well, just to give them a bit of support. Pull my cavalry back, because the Gurkhas are going to hit my line, but fortunately it's my grenadiers they're facing off against. Who are ready to fire. No, oh no, they're going to shoot those guys instead. Get my cavalry in there. Okay, you guys have won in the center. Advance up to the hill. These units advance up to the flank. So we've chart. Kizobashi unit have come back. Gurkhas have been destroyed. 
So I'm going to drive my cavalry through the line. And they're going to hit Kizobashi before they form up. Foot artillery, all engage the camel gunners. Let's get more line infantry over here. Let's take my cuirassier, send them to go after the foot artillery to the rear. Okay, you position there. You guys position about there. These guys position to face off against the camel gunners. Okay, my regiment of horse chased down that unit of Gurkhas, my Kirassier charged down the unit of Musketeers there. These units pivot. So that's the camels dealt with. So now we can start to close the jaws of our formation. Actually, you guys might divert. Do some damage to the camel gunners. My Field foot artillery can cease fire. Let's halt ceasefire with the artillery. Let's get you guys to kill a handful more camels because they're running the right way towards the artillery anyway. This unit should fall due to the concentrated artillery fire. Charge my cavalry into the artillery. There we go, they've collapsed, so now we can straighten our formation up. Start to roll it up. Would like to knock out the Gurkhas. My artillery's at a bit of a loose end back here, as is my general. Now it's time to advance up and engage the 8th. Get these units to push up and threaten the 5th. Because we're about to chase away the 28th. These scallywags. Come on, the 7th. Reload! 7th? This is an early army. 10th, 24th, 9th, 90th, 89th. The 2nd Regiment of Foot. Too bad they're taking so much damage. <laughs> now. They ain't quite what they used to be. Well, they've, taken, they've got four experience tabs. Throw my cavalry in. Well, I'm going to continue this just a little bit. I think the Gurkhas are going to escape because one of them. Oh no, we got him. Yeah, turned off fire at will because no, we have no interest in killing our own troops at the moment. But there we go. Just mow down as many musketeers as we can get our hands on. I just think you guys are pretty tired. But they're encouraged because the enemy is routing. And all chase down the 28th. Well, this, you guys are doing a not, not, not very impressive job of wiping out this unit of musketeers, but you're about to do it. There's only two left. There we go. And try. 
push up and do some good here. I don't think we're going to kill them, but we're certainly going to do a significant amount of damage. Ah, I hate it when the flag moves just as you give them an attack order. So who's left? Is there someone, like, stuck inside? Ah, they are. There's hillmen in the building still. So if we knock that down, that should be the end of them. Praise howitzers. Ooh, you might get some friendly fire. <laughs> Whoa! Boom! <laughs> That's two crewmen down. Oh well, we won't be seeing him again. But yeah, you can see them in the building. So both these buildings are damaged. When this building is knocked down, that should be the end of it. One more shot. Probably from the foot, that artillery. Yep, yeah, there we go. Nicely done. So all we had to do was just kill a bunch of troops and destroy the town hall. So back they go. Yeah, so we're not actually in range of... Ooh, we're not actually in range of the city itself. Okay, then what else have we got? Can you leave Punjab? Not that we want you to really do much else, but... You can leave Punjab. Hey, they were bankrupt. They aren't bankrupt anymore. But at the very least, you can advance to prevent those raiders from getting up to too much mischief. Let's repair the mine. So you're advancing up to this crossing point. You're pushing up to support them. You're advancing to this crossing point. You're pushing up to support them. Mr. Bertie will have orders to push on Zahedin. Yes, my lord. You're going to have orders yes, to push north, push up the bank. So these two armies are a pair. These three armies are secure the crossing, crossing push north and northwest. Same with you. Actually, to be honest, once you've secured the crossing, two of you go northwest, a third army go west. To support our attacks there. Because right now we are... I don't want to drive too hard into their territory. I want to build up my strength a bit more, bring more troops to bear. Uh, yes, we have you as well. You're replenishing, you're out of range. The Ardabil garrison could do it, but Ardabil... Oh, we might be able to do it with Mr. York. But I would like one of these guys to attack them and drive them south. That would be my preference. Because we can't attack that final Russian city, so we're going to kind of surround it with... Obviously, you want the ter this territory to be garrisoned. Yeah. But the aim is to try and make it so... Yeah, don't want to do that. Orthodox Church, no siree. What I want to do is make the prospect of war so untenable, they do not want to try it. So then in the Americas... Now you've come back for reinforcements. I think we've ex we've already exper experimented with this. No, they are not keen. But then this force will move south, uh, north to hit Yankton, which is resolutely not turning into our religion. That's probably because they've got their own agents there. But then in Europe... Got this force in Copenhagen that now no longer has a role. Randall Bloodnock. Underway. Can you leave Denmark without. Ready, yeah, you can. Ready and for Just bring all our firepower to bear. I'm fairly sure I sent my named army to sail to. Um, America, but that's not going to be worthwhile. We're going to have to turn that fleet around. 
still blockading one of our own ports. Eh. I don't have a church school, but I don't think I need to build one. Well, I might build one more happiness building just in case they start to get a bit upset with all of the industrialization that's going on. On Mark Cochran. Down to minus one, that's okay. But because we have the money, let's just build a couple of dragoons to act as a policing unit. So you men have embarked. Cannot get into range, but you will sail to La Havre because there's currently no garrison there anyway. Let's bring a galley over to Brest. Actually, then let's take that galley out. It's in Ridley Doors. New man, climb aboard. You may as well, they may as well sail to India because it's not yes, it's not Europe we're trying to fight. Orders, okay, I mean, lots of these ships are just utterly surplus to requirements. <laughs> Like, let's just sail them to India, because why not? And you here... Not really need as a home fleet, you're protecting the Baltic. We've got another army in... Christiana that we could deploy, if we so choose. Ah, that's where that fifth rate came from, it was Rostock's garrison, oh, it doesn't matter. Sharky Stonehouse, you need to get involved as well with your raw marines. Let's take Raymond Steele's navy. Get you men embarked. I really need to look into where our named army went. Armies, rank from top. Pretty sure it's Curtis. Yeah, so he is here. So you, matey boy, do an about face. <laughs> All of you do an about face. Back to... I mean, I know we've got a territory here and a territory here, but at least if I deploy them into India, we can have them on the front lines, squeezing the last of the Marathas and... The Persians. I think that would be the better idea. Let's do a bit of upgrading of our plantations here. Let's check the roads because if there's one thing we don't want to be slowed down by now it's poor economic development of our roads. Obviously this army up here is n unnecessary entirely. Okay, we're not bothered about that. Okay, let's hit end turn. My spies and my other armies are advancing. Anything else? Well, my the final assault I would like to have done by my named force, so that might drag on, some drag on the campaign a bit. Now, gathering in strength, west of Esfahan, which makes sense because that's where our main axis of advance is. Well, it's mightily tempting to engage them all in one massive battle with just army after army. Oh, I'm go That's what I'm going to do. Uh, no, I'm going to let them regroup. I'm more than happy to let them regroup. <laughs> Ooh, we're getting attacked by the forces outside Malta again. Let's do it. Again, it's just another bunch of... Uh, basic infantry units and basic cavalry units, so it's not really an issue. But yeah, what I would like to do next turn is to gather all my strength in one um, position and then just attack the Persians and then just focus on repelling as many of them as possible. And we could end up losing, losing a large portion of our armies, but then again, we don't really, we're not bothered about that. Oh, how quaint, because they're attacking us. 
they don't actually get any they don't have any defenses so let's just build a basic um, a basic trench line All right, light infantry can build cavalry spikes to protect our right flank which they will then cover our artillery is going to be up on this high ground back here deploy our howitzers heavy cavalry on the left general in the center because what you guys can do as well is go wide and deploy stakes as well artillery is going to engage with round shot at whoever they like here comes the reinforcements from the town from the city I mean engage probably the actual line infantry units mortars just drop shells onto the militia See, they are coming through the town, but that's part of the reason why I've got light infantry here. It's all provincial cavalry, so it's quite cheap. So you men fall back. Provincial cavalry is not charging. Well, they are moving up though. Run back, don't run into them. Okay, don't go too far. Oh, look at that for a. So the mine went off, killed a bunch, didn't kill any, well, hardly any of them. In fact, you men take very careful positions behind the spikes. Now my cavalry will deploy and start to attack the flanks of their infantry formation. You men make ready and engage. They will need to Okay, good. They are pivoted such that they won't attack anyone left of the house. That's quite important. So my light infantry can engage the 1st Regiment of Horse. Line infantry unit shattered. There we go. Even this Regiment of Foot is quite depleted. Ah, oh, look at this poor militia unit. Blow the bugle. Oh, I see cavalry charge. Trouble is, though, I might not have to worry about that. They can take care of themselves here. My howitzers might be better placed dropping... Two of them dropping shells onto the pikes. And one of them attack the militia. The regiment of horse is going to go down. go we can push out of our defensive line begin to bring the war to the enemy when, when these guys have committed into this attack we can try and experiment with pushing my light infantry around the flank can't I drag you guys along? Is it because of... I don't know what it's because of. You're okay. Now we can... advance out of the trench trenches. Cavalry engage the militia. Bash. 
so heavy cavalry, man. It's so good. Why didn't the French think of this? Okay, that's a square formation, or at least attempting to be one. Charge in. Just try to shatter them. We have to worry about killing them. Good, the militia have been knocked out, so our line continue the advance. You charge onto the 8th. Foot artillery engage the 10th right at the back. These men are positioned ready to engage the pikemen. These men stuck in the houses, they can't ever deploy their full amount of firepower. Let's get my general involved, start chewing up some of these militia. Pull you guys back. Let these units be chewed up by musket fire. Straighten this edge out. That's right, pikemen. You can skirt around the edges of the battlefield if you like. At some point, you're going to have to advance. I know you like the look of my light infantry. There we go. My light infantry spotted them. They're in range. There they go. Let's spread out our line to maximise the firepower there. Reinforcements are trying to chase down my cavalry, but being cavalry, they're a bit agile. Okay, let's pivot. Let's start to break up our formation. Might not even need to, actually. Let my house just chase down the routing troops. knock out the 5th Regiment. My gunners, yeah, one of you is engaging the 10th, another one's going to engage the 12th. You men aren't actually in range. Let's pivot you to face the new enemy while we advance you up to try and break the 5th. The 6th go are, are, are very unhappy. Okay, so now these units can support this push. We are going to redeploy our line properly once these guys are finished firing. Excellent. Form line for battle. Push these units up, push up our light infantry out wide. Push up my cavalry, bring out my general. To be honest, I think the general's bodyguard is the only actual unit left on the field. Oh no, I've got some infantry here. Get him, boys. they've held their, they're going to hold their ground concerned because friends are routing as the cavalry charge in okay you men charge the first same with you guys skirmishes advance towards the general's bodyguard Apart from that, I think that's... <laughs> they are the uh, only remaining troops. Because these uh, Maltese infantrymen are not going to stand. 
because they have bayonets, but we have better bayonets, and we have it. We have a foot guard unit and a the first regiment of. Oh, that's theirs. First regiment of foot. Ours is just regiment of foot. Artillery fires. Landing near the general. First regiment's holding on bravely. Ah, oh, this regiment of foot. Yeah, had to run the gauntlet across an entire battlefield. You men attack the 10th. My general can keep attacking the 11th. The net is tightening. Oh, we got him. We got him with a howitzer shot. Retirata. There we go. First regiment's also shattered as well. Noise. Excellent, excellent. So that is the. Well, that's probably going to be not far off. That Maltese just done for. They've lost. Y yeah, there we go. So they've only got their capital city remaining. Both their armies in the field have been destroyed. So we can lay siege to the capital because they won't. Um, Demand. They won't accept a surrender because they aren't. That's their capital city. They can't. I don't think the game allows them to do that. Put them under siege for now. New town emerges in Tatooine. Craft workshop. New port emerges in Luz. Oh, then you're the captain of the port. <laughs> Did you guys not recruit artillery? Foolish. Still, they need to replenish anyway. Can you guys? Well, I doubt you. I doubt you'll be able to leave again yet. Global trading company. Lots of steam engine factories. Obviously, we've got some Dagestan rebels or Chechenian rebels. Just annihilate them. Even though it's going to cut, it's going to do more damage to us. It's not a problem. We're not going to be really. We're not really attacking with these armies, and this force here isn't even involved. So Felix Dodd needs to push to about here, because George Wade is going to advance. I mean, I was going to advance into there and hit you anyway. But let's do it. Let's let's do it, Mr. Zadeh. Because this way they might retreat north, which isn't ideal, but at least I still have armies to the north, which I can use to destroy them. And my hope was I, I could get to the west of their army and drive them east. That would have been a good win. Fear they may have made a tactical blunder. Because this is not any army. This is George Wade's battlefield army. This is a force designed to march across the open ground and scatter all those before them. And they have the experience to prove it. Oh, one more gun team I forgot. Grand battery time. How does this drop quick line? Pikes on the left, because I didn't give them as much. Actually, no, pikes in the centre to support the fusiliers. Bulk of the cavalry on the left. Good stuff. Actually, no, I do want you guys to run. Anchor our line against that building. My cavalry is advancing. Let's pick, actually pick targets for my howitzers, and it's going to be the infantry. So 
So get my regiment of horse in against the ca enemy cavalry first, because they are lance cavalry. So my regiment of horse takes the charge, then my heavy cavalry charge in and knock them out. I hope the sound works itself out. Enemy artillery is done. Is done for. You guys, that's not a great position for you, but you are grenadiers, so you can... To be honest, you can actually advance up a bit more to where I want you to be. That's a bit far. Yeah, so the heavy cavalry is winning slightly. It won't be for long. It is Lancer cavalry. Could send frightening enemy units. That's gonna be my heavy my horse guards, I by good guess. Keep my heavy cavalry out wide. I don't know why it just decides. Eh, anyway. So these are the first and second Swiss grenadiers. Okay, right. Could be a bit of a recipe for disaster. There we go. Charge the heavy cavalry in against the musketeers on the flank. Grenadiers are redressing. My foot guards, which just look splendid, I think. Yeah, there goes the heavy cavalry. Heavy cavalry are scattering all men before them. Oh, there's another heavy cavalry unit charge. But they were routed before that happened anyway. Okay, let's get my pikes over onto the flank. My heavy cavalry did just smash everyone. Push up my flank. Switch my howitzers to round shot because we now have cavalry on the, in the field. God alive. The Royal Welch Fusiliers. Oh, they couldn't fire their guns because of the presence of presence of friendly troops. Let's bring up our general. Chase down the Kizilbashi, that's the proper unit. Well, I was about to say the unit to worry about, but worry is the wrong word. He says they're winning, but they're down to half strength, or well, less than half strength. Let's pull my regiment of horse out, because I think that's probably what's tipping that balance of power calculation. And we, so this is a classic AI behaviour. They don't engage your battle line when you've got uh, cavalry running around in the rear, like these guys are running to chase down my cavalry. I'm like, I get it. They want to help their uh, comrades, but come on now, battle line. See, my pikemen will help balance the odds there. All my artillery try to kill the general's bodyguard. So these men looking up onto the high ground and you can just see a mighty line of red coats. And they're all reloading. Except for them. Yeah, the bowmen have gone down. Those men have engaged the troops on the left flank. They're shooting at us. <laughs> Okay, Heavy Cavalry, get on the move. General's actually trying to uh, support their troops, which is quite admirable. George Wade is trying to scratch up a few more kills. Keep advancing, even if it might be a bit stretched out. All my artillery engage the bowmen. Howitzers can still open fire. Just 
keep ratcheting our line forward. Eventually their general is going to run out of places to go. Ooh, okay, everyone, all my artillery, change orders. Attack the bowmen, because we've now got heavy cavalry in against... Uh, attack the general, sorry, because we've now got heavy cavalry against the bowmen. Don't worry, I hear he's very confident. That really is it. That's it's their general's bodyguard is the only, is the last unit they've got. Okay, my cavalry's finally hit them. I was kind of reluctant to send my cavalry in because they're they've got more than enough strength to win, but I kind of wanted to make them chase down or keep them chasing down the enemy infantry. I suppose this could well this will also work. So you were the fool who tried to intercept me. Okay, George Wade, let's give you a new order. I wonder where the general is. Are we, do we have a chance of killing the general? I think I might have missed him. Making me a bit tricky to spot. Not sure. Let's speed up time. Because it is just sparring with the general's bodyguard. Okay. Ch continue. Chase down the enemy. Actually, you might help this unit because they're a bit... If I don't give this unit more support, they'll spend forever bouncing around between the two clusters. So... Just give them some help, and at least they might actually be able to kill this unit. You help this unit chase down the 74th. There we go. Make sure they're ungrouped. Ah, you slippery devil. Yeah, that, there's 15 left, so they're not all here. There's probably... Yeah, there's a couple there as well. Yes, they got him. He stopped. He stopped before the line. The fools. Good, good, good. There we go. Lost 231 men. Killed 2,000. George Wade added another star to his uh, experience level. They'll have a chevron to his experience level, sorry. In terms of kills, the cavalry, well, obviously the cavalry did great because they do the mopping up, but the Swiss Grenadiers and the Union of Fusiliers have done some good work. But that's the way, that's not the way I wanted them to go, and that's kind of why I would rather deal with them a different way, but then let's just probably auto the remainder. Yeah. So they're going to be stuck between a rock and a hard place. I mean, it's tempting to push Mr. York to Tehran to cause them upset. Then, let's take three, six. Bring as much infantry as one can muster. Because I think that would be quite fun. But I want to see if there's... Uh, because that's going to be quite a significant battle, I can't really do that this episode, but I would, it is definitely something we could kick off next episode. So you go to push Zahedin, well you can't really push Zahedin from the north. You can, you can do it that way. So you men cross the river and drive north, you men probably want to push the river and drive north-west. Because you potentially have a couple of interesting battles here, because you are within range. So if I push across the river, well, if I march you guys up in support, and I get Mr. Denman. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Well, if they if they run southwest, they're into the range of these guys. 
Ready for orders. Well, I have to attack him, otherwise he'll just intercept me anyway. But he will bring in that other army as a reinforcement, so that's pretty perfect. So a large contingent of enemy troops, which we will destroy. Lots of elephants as well. General, 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 general. Four generals! Soon to be four dead and captured generals, one would hope. But yes, the end is nearly here. I would, I really want to try and um, see how many Persian troops I could draw into one massive battle at the end of this episode. Because that could then be quite fun, because the enemy doesn't really concentrate in that mass. Um, that's why I brought up that army that's just infantry. It's just infantry and a couple of artillery units. Right. Ooh, battle for the hill! Very well. A unit of guns to fire at range. I want my grenadiers and marines in the centre because they're going to push. And two lines of infantry, two units of infantry, and some Queen's Rangers on either flank. Cavalry is going to be straight up and over the hill. Well, the howitzers are going to be deployed back, providing artillery support. So, what my my general is going to be holding the ground. Okay, cavalry. Brave cavalry charge. Get my other fellows running. Oh no! Regiment of guard, regiment of horse hit the dervishes. You men hit that unit of dervishes. You men hit that unit of Pindari horsemen. The light dragoons engage the Sikh warriors. Although you just shot a bunch of my cuirassier. Curse you! Fire at will. Yeah, I, I suspected something like that could happen. No matter. This square will deflect that unit of Pindari horsemen. Skirmishes take position behind the walls, engage the two men. Yeah, gunners are outing. Get my infantry evolved into this fight. Get my colonial line involved as well. How it's all drop, drop um, shots against the, all drop shots against the enemy artillery. My 12 pound a foot did not get orders to advance. My grenadiers get involved. Oh, I get, oh. grenadiers getting knocked down by my own cavalry. Sikh warriors are involved. The dervishes are wavering. The dervishes are routing. Attack the Pindari horsemen. These units, you guys should be enough. Queen's Rangers, get to the top of the hill and start attacking that general. My gunners, start to get up to the top of this hill yourselves. See, in square, these men could do a really good job to hold them off. Actually, get my artillery, my howitzers to fire at them. Yeah, you can engage into the back of that combat as well, that's not terrible. There you go, the enemy cavalry is starting to break because they know they can't defeat the British square. Pindari horsemen units being engaged by rangers plus howitzers. Uh oh! Run, skirmishers, run! Actually, these grenadiers make ready. And this foot artillery, get into position. 
Ah, oh, look at that. So they routed. Then they came back from routing. And they're going after my gunners. So when they abandon their guns, just make them run. My general's bodyguard has to do some work today. Now my grenadiers have to engage the dervishes. Unlimber, fire it will off. Canister shot. Mr. De Azara is joining the fray. Bring him forward to join the battle for the guns. So hopefully we're going to knock out that Uno Pindari horseman. You men charging the rear of the dervishes. My light cavalry's gone. Understandable. My skirmishes take position ahead of the threat. One unit of Sikh warriors is down. Now we're on to the last unit. How's my general doing? He's doing great. Artillerymen, man your guns. Infantry, advance. <laughs> this is a terrible idea, but whatever. Now you men must form a defensive position in, on top of the bodies of your dead comrades. Cavalry withdraw. We do not need your mobile support. Especially in such weak... Oh god, they're charging. They're charging before I could even get guys... In Canister the camel nomads. May cost me my Queen's Rangers. And Limber here as well. Go on, Grenadiers, take him out. My infantry here is enough to take out the Sikh Musketeers. Mr. Deazara, you have hold of the left you have command of the left wing. Form line for battle, my Queen's Rangers, pretty much everywhere. Yeah, no, they're not in the right position. Uh, one of you guys isn't limbered up. Artillery begin doing some early damage. Bring our cavalry up onto the right flank. Don't need artillery. So you men get up here and put a... Get your men into position. Artillery. Focus on the Pindari horsemen. These guys are going straight for my Queen's Rangers. But they've got the defensive stakes up. And they're going to hold fire. Until now. Pick your targets. Good, our defences are intact. Pindari horsemen have broken. Really, I want to be up here. Let's charge my heavy cavalry into the general's bodyguard.
Dari Horsemen are going to go down. Yeah, a good mixture of volley fire and accurate rifle fire. The guns are in position, so limber up. There you go. See, a, a, a full strength unit of heavy cavalry just melts elephants. Okay, let's get these Queen's Rangers out of here. Everyone else is pretty okay. Choosing a bit of a dodgy direction to route, but we do have our heavy cavalry at least to protect that flank. So then these clansmen get them up behind the line. Charge in my heavy cavalry. Otherwise they're just going to get skirmished to hell and back. You're going to quick climb. Oh, you, you can't. You're going to come after me, are you? Don't think so. A foot artillery unit. Oh, that's something that's withdrawing. Shrapnel shot. The dervishes coming in. Blowing some real lines into their holes into their lines here, although the terrain's not ideal. But here come the Irish volunteers. So that's the that's the general if it is the, if that is the actual general. Let's get him back. Reload the guns with canister shot. Guns are reloading. Okay, switch to canister shot. Open up against the Sikhs in the distance. There we go. Here come the Irish volunteers to hold the right flank. Here comes another regiment of foot. Peasantry, dervishes. I think they're running out of steam. And there's still that one unit of Sikh musketeers behind the line to defeat to um, to destroy. These guys are going to do some great work up here. Except for that cover in the way, but. Highlanders! Oh, I'm going to have to charge the general into the cavalry, into the infantry. Then bring you guys some support. Highlanders! Sharpshooters, not necessarily what I'd, what I'd like the most, but whatever. Switch all my artillery to round shot to attack someone like you of Sikh Musketeers. Oh, the dervishes are shaken. Well, my Highlanders are doing good work. Get my grenadiers along the line as well to help out.
So bring my general's bodyguard out of the action. You men retreat. So they get the Highlanders to swing right. Clansmen push to the right. Whose hatchet's better? Is it the guys in kilts or the guys in bigger kilts? So is that all just artillery back there? Yeah, it is. Just the mortars. Final ceasefire command from my artillery. It's in the last thing we've got to deal with, these Sikh Musketeers. So let's get our stronger units of infantry to head their way with a QSEA unit wide. I wonder how... I wonder how it's just to drop some round shot onto them. There we go, the Mortarmen are being engaged by the general staff. Good stuff. Quite a significant enemy crossing, really. But we more than made up for it. Huzzah! They're now entering the fray. That's right. Ch charge those guys. General himself dismantled two full artillery crews. The Irish volleys plus the artillery are going to rout the tenth. Could charge my cavalry in, but let's let my musketeers deal with this. Everyone else is definitely routing, which is nice. So who would be coming in now? It looks like a unit of cavalry. Heavy cavalry. Nice. There we go. Let's continue this just for a little bit. because there's a number of units that can actually be pursued in a meaningful way. I mean, not all of them. Most of them are probably going to rout, but this unit here, for example, that's a unit of Sikh Musketeers destroyed, which is nice. I'm probably not going to chase down too many of them because they're all quite far away. I've given them orders. I've given a gen my general, or one of the generals, orders to... Uh, chase them down. It looks like they have reached one of the units. And then rather than redeploy, I'm just going to go look at this general. So there's one more unit in the distance, but they've routed, so it's all that's left is this force here, which is destroyed. Excellent. So with a significant loss of men, we have crossed the river, and we have driven back two quite powerful Ottoman uh, Mughal armies. St. Charles Brophy can also cross the river. So you guys might these might guys might do a bit of running around and raiding. But that's okay. Also got this force to the south in case they get around us. Um, but what I what I really want to see and I hope it works like this, is if I move you up. I want to stack my stack the deck in my favour. Although I troops, yes, forward. But okay, I'm going to bring you guys south as well. <laughs> if I hit you, <laughs> that is a 
20,000 man enemy army. 18,900 reinforcements, plus 3,000 in the field. So that's five reinforcing armies, that's probably... That might actually be the garrison, that might not be these three. Because it's the, I think it's to do with the movement points of the road. But still, that's going to be a pretty meaty battle. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for what looks like a promise of a good scrap. Cheers everyone.